integrated writing task. This task gives you the opportunity to demonstrate your ability to show that you can communicate in writing about academic information you have read and listened to. You will read a passage about an academic topic for three minutes, and then you will hear a short lecture related to the topic. Then you will be asked to summarize the points in the listening passage and explain how they relate to specific points in the reading passage. You will now see a text scrolling up on the screen. You may also find this text in the description box of this video. Now get ready to start reading. Zoos. Now listen to a lecture on the same topic as the passage you have just read. Why don't we revisit the topic of zoos, which I think have gotten a pretty bad reputation lately. Obviously, whenever we're working with animals, we have to ask ourselves if we're really doing what's best for them. And when it comes to zoos, I think they are beneficial to animals in several ways. For one thing, Zoos are an incredibly effective tool for protecting endangered species and helping them breed. Take the California condor, for example. In 1987, there was only one of these birds left in the wild. Faced with the possible extinction of the species, scientists implemented a captive breeding program. These programs basically encourage endangered animals living in zoos to breed. Then, after they have reproduced, they are reintroduced to the wild. To make a long story short, the program was very successful. The scientists had no problems getting the birds to breed in captivity. Now the population of the bird has increased to about 330. Without zoos, the California condor would have probably disappeared quietly from the face of the earth. Next, opponents of zoos say that they harm animals by removing them from their natural habitats. Well, in defense of zoos, I have to mention that many modern zoos have a natural habitat philosophy. What this means is that all of the zoo's exhibits are designed to resemble the real habitats that animals come from. Just last week, for example, I read about a zoo in North Carolina that has a natural habitat philosophy. The zoo has already built a sprawling 37-acre exhibit on animals of the African plains. Here, the animals enjoy all the same comforts they would in the wild, and they can receive aid from zookeepers if they ever need it. So, really, now animals in zoos are more comfortable and safer than ever before. Finally, zoos provide us with the best way to study animals, because they allow us to observe creatures that we wouldn't encounter otherwise. I mean, seriously, how many times have you seen a silverback gorilla in your backyard? Probably never. However, thanks to zoos, we can view these and many other types of animals, live and in the flesh. Trust me, as someone who has studied animals for a good portion of his life, I can say with certainty that even if there are tons of books relating to zoology, really, nothing beats seeing a creature in real life. There was a time when zoos weren't as developed as they are now. 
but I don't think that should keep people from visiting newer facilities. I think that when we learn the facts about zoos, it's pretty obvious that they are actually beneficial to animals. Now get ready to answer the question. You will have 20 minutes to plan and write your response. In the description box of this video, you will find a 20 minute timer that you can use to time your response. Typically, an effective response will be 150 to 225 words. Essay question Summarize the points made in the lecture, being sure to specifically explain how they cast doubt on points made in the reading passage. Do you need someone to help you evaluate your answer? If so, send us an email and we'll gladly take a look at your response. You could find our contact info in the description box below. Thank you for watching our video. And remember, score well, go anywhere.